Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a default defense setup for bar gaming on Chalet. Now, I'm going to start with Frost and I'm going to go through each character individually and I'm going to show you what their setup is and what position they play because even if you're not in a 5 stack, if you take each of these operators at any one of them in your solo queue game and you do the setup, it will help your team no matter what. And it is what I think is where each operator is best suited to playing um, in the bomb site. So I'm going to show you Frost. And first of all, I'm going to show you Frost's position. Okay, Frost's position, I think, is actually because she's the worst gun in all the defense. Um, we're going to put her in the gaming room. And I want to show you exactly how to play her position. So you want to start with a rotate. And the easy way to remember this is it goes soft wall, reinforcement, soft wall, reinforcement. And it goes in that sort of pattern. So it makes this site really easy to set up. So the first thing to know about this setup is that when you play in ranked, or you play with 10 different players, I'm fairly sure that they're all going to set up the gaming room very, very different. But the reason that I have it set up this way, in this little pattern of rotation, you know, reinforcement, line of sight, reinforcement, line of sight, reinforcement, is because I feel that this position here is actually how you play this bomb site. Um, now, it might seem like, why, why would you play here? Um, the reason is, this window right here, if there's any attacker at this window, they actually can't move beyond that beam. And as long as you know that, you can actually have control over a lot of the other parts of a push. And you become, even with a bad gun like Frost's 9mm, you actually become um, really effective in, you know, pinches, refrags, and, and all that good stuff without having to take one-on-one -on -one gunfights. This is why she's best here. You can see the double window jump in, which will have a frost mat on it. You can see the single window jump in, which will also have a frost mat on it. You can see the, um, what we call, I guess, B1, that's the bar 1 door. You can also see bar 2 door. Um, and if you push around here, you still got, you know, cover from the double window. And you can see anybody jumping in mud, and anybody who tried to walk up blue. So you have, you know, you even have this little pixel if you want it. Um, to B1. So, just by playing here, you know, you don't need to be running around like a maniac. You don't need to be here to challenge this door. You don't need to be here to challenge this door. You don't need to be standing here to challenge the window. You don't need to be running into blue. You don't need to be in all these places to actually challenge those angles. So, if you set it up this way, you've got all the cover that you're going to need to affect the round. The only thing you need to know about Frost is that you're not going to be able to do all these lines of sight and reinforcements. You just want to set up the site put your frost mats down, and put up your shield. So if you're in a 5 stack, and you're the frost player, this is where you want to play. And if you're in a solo queue game, this will work exactly the same way. If you can so if you can get the setup done as quick as you can, and, and get back to site, you're going to have influence on a lot of other places. And in solo queue, you're going to find it um, that you do have you know, a good chance of, 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 of countering a lot of the random stuff and seeing a lot of the, um, you know, and seeing a lot of the pushes and a lot of things that ranked players like to do. So even in solo queue, I would, I would do this strategy and it works out. So that's Frost and that's what the actual gaming room site will look like. Okay, now I'm moving on to Malusi and what the bar part of the defense should look like and how you're going to play it as the Malusi player. Now, because you only have um, some very very easy banshees you can actually set up a lot of the bomb site you can actually be the person that gets um, I think you can get a couple of walls in sight to help to help frost here you can probably get these two walls and then you've got three banshees and a bulletproof camera these banshees are very easy to remember you just put one right in front of the cabinet place one at the lobby double door and you place one next to the piano double door. The bulletproof camera is at this little vine right here. Place it up as high as you can. And it basically sees the whole hallway, which is 
a re it's a game winning camera, by the way. Now, your Wamai will actually barricade some doors here. Um, and there'll be barbed wire in different positions. And you'll see a lot of stuff that Wamai will actually do to help you. So I'm going to set up what it might look like once Wamai is finished setting up some of the site for you. Okay, so this is your position with Malusi at the start of the game. Now, there will be barbed wire at the bottom of the snowmobile stairs here, the bottom blue stairs, so that you can play here pretty freely. There'll also be a beeper, which will be inside mud in through there. This means at the start of the game, with this door barricaded, there'll be another beeper up here. This wall's reinforced, there's a banshee lobby, there's also, you know, all the audio you're going to need. There's players all around you. You can actually play here at the start of the game, because what a lot of people do is they like to rush lobby. They see this bomb site and they like to rush lobby. And all you need to do is sit and wait and wait for the banshee to go off and capitalize on a couple of free kills. And when you hear any beepers going off or any pressure, your actual default position you want to get back to is you actually want to play about here. Either this reinforcement or play in and around here. Be careful going through the rotation that you don't get um, shot at the window, okay? But this is your default spot. And at this spot, you can actually play on some cameras. You can jump on the default camera. And what I like to get on is the lobby. And I like to just flick between these two, okay? So you can see a lot of the jump-ins. You can see what's happening. And that's your only play. Now, this wall isn't trivial because at the end of the game when you're playing here, you're going to love this. The hatch will also be reinforced. Which means that let's say they take the top floor. They do everything that they've got to do. With the hatch still reinforced, with the lobby cam maybe shot, but the bulletproof camera up, and Frost still playing bar stock, jumping in this window, dropping in this hatch, coming down this hallway, or walking through B1, it's not actually as a lost cause as you think it is. As long as your Malusi is alive, doesn't play too risky at the start of the game, and knows how to capitalize on audio calls and calls made from the team, then you're fine. And it's a really, really easy thing to do. And as long as you even do this in solo queue, you can actually find yourself getting a lot of uh, value out of just doing this one default position with Malusi. And again, it's it, the reason it's Malusi isn't trivial. She's a three speed and she's able to get around a lot quicker than most other, um, than most other uh, defenders. So that's the Malusi part of the setup. Okay, so now we're on to Wamai. And because Wamai has no real lines of sight or anything like that he's got you know he's going to do the most of the um reinforcements and barricades in the prep phase so first bit of mud bit of beeper barricade so this is one my position at the top of mezzanine and the reason we have well, my here is because we want his gadget to affect as much of the rest of the team as possible. And this is where a lot of flashbangs and nades come in. We're going to have, you know, Smoke playing top blue. And we're going to have Jaeger in library. And Jaeger's going to have two ADSs roughly, uh, roughly in front of his shield. It's optional to put a shield in the corner. Um, and then, you know, obviously we might have a shield here. But you have to choose between that. You're going to have one shield top blue. And it's depending on which two players want the shield. A mez or library. Either way, you're only going to have minimal ADSs. One at blue, tucked behind this cabinet, and two library. Which means you need Wamai here. You absolutely need Wamai here. Um, if they're pushing in double window, or, you know, there's a lot of flashbangs coming in. Library, you can sit here, you can affect the game here. You can also, you know, put one for yourself, canine, and you can affect top blue. So, Wamai here, without being exposed to anything, is is reacting to whatever his team is saying. And again, even if you're in solo queue, this is a great position to play. It also, it's it's a little risky if your randoms are off running around, but if I was to play Wamai anywhere, this is where I would play him. Um, you've also got some nice cheeky vertical as well, if you know early in the game that somebody's walking up snowmobile. You got a couple easy shots, and if they still haven't cleared out up top, and they try to push through um, jungle and long hallway to what's called B2 door, um, you have the vertical on them as well. And these are some nasty crossfires as well. You know, you have to you have to remember that smoke is going to be here the entire time with a shield. 
So they have to walk the whole way up to smoke and look at him without looking at one eye. So these two positions um, are together. It's not a solo position. Um, you want your best player who's able to read the game and a really good support player to play Wamai here. It also helps if they're pretty cracked and they're actually pretty decent on a gun as well. So that's Wamai. He's the third defender um, in the setup. Okay, since we just looked at Wamai, we're now going to look at Jaeger. Um, because Wamai is doing four reinforcements and Melisi is doing two, we can sort of let... Um, we can sort of let Jaeger just do one reinforcement because he has a lot of stuff to do. And then we can just have Smoke finish up, um, I think, the other three. So we can get the bar stock wall um, when he comes out. Just barricade a door. It's always good to barricade these doors just to stop just to stop ranked players just crouch walking or rushing in. Barbed wire, fireplace stairs. And we're going to put a barbed wire on bottom blue. And this is because your Malusi was playing here. And you don't want them to be crouch walked up on because there's no audio on blue stairs. And the ADS is a really simple. You have one to smoke. And the other two you're going to take for yourself in this position over here. So you want to make sure they can't be shot um, from the window. So I like to lay one um, down here. And I also just like to put the one right next to it if I can. And if you decide to have a shield here, um, it's again... It depends on the on your team what you want to do. I quite like having the shield here, but also having a shield here in Mez is also very good. Now, as Jaeger, you just want to play in this corner. It's not a very complicated position. Um, you just need to ask Wamai for Wamai discs. Um, you need to listen to your ADS is getting burned. Um, you can maybe tell your Frost player that they might jump my single window. And if the shield's here, which I quite like having the shield here, even though top mez might want it it's it's really up to your team um you just sit here and you play off the frost mat and if you're under real pressure and you feel like you absolutely have to fall away you can drop the hatch and you can fade back um you've also got these angles here um towards piano which you know and you've got all this cover you can also wall bang through mez um it's a really easy position to play i wouldn't recommend playing this as the only person in solo queue but if you're in a stack, this is the, uh, I mean, this is incredibly important. It's a very underlooked position, and in ranked, I actually don't see a lot of people playing here. For some reason, when you're attacking Master Bedroom, there'll be a guy playing here, but for some reason, they don't have a person up here in, in a bar gaming defense. And obviously, you can see the hatch as well. You can just see the jump in, and it's one of the most underrated positions to play, and I've won a lot of rounds just playing in this position. Okay, so the last operator in this lineup is Smoke. And it's actually smoke with an FMG9. Now the reason it's smoke with this gun and not a shotgun is because we're not actually bringing smoke for the fact that he's smoke, right? We're only bringing him for a shield. So this means that this operator could change to Alibi, Warden, Thorn, you know, whoever, right? Um, but we're going with smoke for um, one particular reason for holding top loot. So you're not gonna be shotgunning anything. You're gonna be using the FMG9. Um, which is obviously a very good, I think it's a very good gun. So you're going to finish up with the one wall on site that nobody else was able to get. And you're going to sprint upstairs and you're going to get the two walls in um, office. So this is Smoke's final position atop of blue. Now Frost might put her shield um, for the Jaeger player here in the corner, or might put it top mez because she has to do some shotgunning here, here, shred up this wall, put two frost mats, pop the hatch. So leave it to Frost to, you know, um, put her shield where she wants, and you might as well just put yours at the top of blue. Now, again, um, the reason it's smoke is just because I quite like having the smoke grenades to deny a push in through piano and through K9, but this can be done with Alibi, it can be done with Warden. Again, you're not bringing a shotgun, so you might as well, because this, again, this operator can change, because it could change the Warden, it could change the Alibi, so you might want to just keep this operator um, with an FMG9 for this long angle. Now, all of this wall is actually going to be shotgunned out low, okay? Now, the reason that I have this shotgunned low, well, you know, Frost may or may not have time to do this, but I like to leave this wall soft. 
Because if this wall is reinforced, it allows Habana to sort of open a little throwable like line here and clear the shield without being shot you know, through this wall because it's reinforced. But if this is soft, it just makes it a little more tricky to to sit here and flash the shield by making a little, you know, Habana hole or a little Maverick hole or whatever. So, leaving that soft, I quite like doing that. I've quite recently I've started like doing that. Um, because again, you're protected, if you look at the geometry of the shield, you're protected from that wall anyway, you know what I mean? So it's not, it's really not a big problem. Um, again, feel free to change up this operator. Feel free to do what you want, but I quite like smoke here. Uh, my next pick probably would be Warden, FYI. And again, you've got this long corridor here. You know what I mean? You can you can affect it with a smoke grenade if you're getting a call that it's from bulletproof cameras would be here. You know, um, this is this is just why we're not bringing. I have to reiterate because every time I say, you know, smoke with FMG9, people think you're you know a silver secure air player and they think you're trolling, right? But you're not. It's a really calculated decision. And again, you want to change this to Warden 1.5, Alibi 1.5. You may even play a thorn. Um, the point is, if you want shield and ranged gun, not smoke, particular, you know, in particular. But you'll take his gadget because why not? It sort of works. So that's the full setup for the bar gaming bomb site. And what I'm just going to do is just recap on the player positions. So that's the full setup for bar gaming. Um, hope you can implement this into your solo queue or your five stack um, ranked games. And I hope you have a lot more success in this bomb site because it's often never played in ranked. People normally pick snowmobile and then master and they just go back and forth and back and forth. And in my opinion, this is the second best uh, bomb site on Chalet and it's totally underrated. So I hope this helps you feel more comfortable in this bomb site and uh, I hope you try it out and have fun.